Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen today. Uh, I just thought I'd come on here and do another little live video for you. Something simple, something easy, uh, and something that's a little bit versatile as well. I was really, really pleased uh, yesterday. I did the video on the uh, dog treats and it was amazing. It's nearly up at 8,000 hits. So a lot of people must have been looking for a recipe for making uh, dog treats. So I just see somebody's on. So that's wonderful. Say hello. Hey Jeannie, how are you? How's your mask making going? Jeannie Fairson's a friend of mine over in the States and uh, she's been very, very with every piece of fabric she can find, uh, making masks for people and handing them out to her friends and family and kindly offered to send me one as well. <laughs> uh, but Jeannie, I've got some masks here, so let your friends and family make use of them as best they can. So I did the, um, the doggy biscuit video yesterday and uh, the um, it seemed to be very uh, well viewed. It, it's up, just about at 8,000 people who viewed it yesterday, so that was great. So I thought you needed a bit of love and joy in your kitchen. So I'm trying to do a video most days, um, providing uh, I don't bore you to death <laughs> or make you fall off your kitchen stools. Who's on? Hey, Kathy, how are you? And Ayob, how are you? Yes, aha. Uh -huh. So... We got somebody rude on here, but that's okay. We can ignore those kind of people. Um, so today I'm going to make a sweet potato wrap, uh, which is very versatile because when you actually uh, see it finely made, it's very like a chapati. So it's a little difficult getting naan breads and chapatis just now, and I do really, really like to make Indian food. Um, and my plan for tomorrow is to make a prawn curry. So I thought, hmm, I'll make some sweet potato wraps and then I can use them uh, tomorrow uh, to have with my prawn curry. So I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've been cleaning and cleaning and then going back and cleaning the same thing again. So, and I don't know what our haircuts are gonna look like after all this, but anyway, we just have to do the best we can. Hi Magda, how are you? Nice to see you on. I, I don't imagine you're in work at the moment. Oh, Kathy, that's great of you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very, very much for coming on. So this is a pretty simple recipe and it just requires two ingredients uh, and equal amounts of each ingredient. So I'm using a cup. If you wanted to use two cups, you could use two cups or if you wanted to use any kind of vessel to measure your things out in, uh, it's the same amount. So I'm using, I roasted my potatoes earlier, my sweet potatoes. I just put them in the oven at about 200 and I roasted them for about 20 or 30 minutes. All right. And then I cut them in half and I scooped all the flesh out. So I have this here. Now you can also use for this recipe, butternut squash, which is really, really good as well. So this is a really healthy, clean eating wrap. Uh, great to make sandwiches with. Uh, put a little bit of hummus in there, uh, some beetroot, some chicken, some salad. Fantastic. Tastes fabulous. A great, great uh, sort of lunchtime. So we got a cup, one cup of mashed sweet potato that I'm putting in there. Now the flour is, again, one cup of flour. So you can use any kind of flour that you like. Uh, you can use a gluten-free plain flour, you can use a wholemeal flour, you could use an almond flour, you could use a coconut flour. I've got a million flours in my larder. Uh, the one I'm gonna use today, because I found this, is an organic quinoa flour. And this is about a cup in here. So I'm going to use that. And I've also got some wholemeal flour just in case I feel that it's too sticky and I need to top it up with something. Um, also, I'm, I'm going to add in one serrano chili. So you can either add green, red, uh, or both. Whatever, if you prefer to spice it up. But I did say these are two ingredient, and they are two ingredient, plus a little pinch of salt. So I've got some Himalayan pink salt here. And I am going to put in one cut up chili. So I've diced that up earlier, and I'm going to put that in there too, because 
as most of you who follow me, you know I like the heat. I love my chilies. I'm a chili queen. And I uh, have a lot of fun discussing uh, Scoville units with people. Um, I was talking to a girl yesterday who bought this one from Wiltshire Farm. It's called Regrets. And I said to her, Je suis no regrets. Uh, Edith Piaf sang a very, very famous song. Um, and uh, I thought, wow, after that hot, hot, it's like a million Scoville or something, but the hottest chili is the Carolina Reaper. All right, and I had some sausages made not too long ago by, I think it was Morrison's or something. And they made these with the ghost uh, chili and the Carolina Reaper mixed up. It wasn't a pretty story. Those things were burning, absolutely burning. Uh, no amount of water, well, you shouldn't drink water when you get too much heat in your mouth like that. It should really have uh, like milk or yogurt, but oh my goodness, they were just too much. I have tried to grow them. A friend of mine uh, grows the Carolina Reaper on a coffee farm in Hawaii, and she sent me a whole bunch of seeds last year. I hope she's not watching because I did get them to grow, but then the temperature changed. I had them outside under little containers like this and the temperature changed and they all plopped. Uh, so that was the end of, uh, I've got a friend on here who does a fantastic, uh, Trish, she does fantastic chili growing. <laughs> she makes me so jealous with all her fabulous chilies. But anyway, I, I am going to have another crack at it this summer and see if I can get this chili going. So this is a cup of uh, quinoa flour, organic quinoa flour. So these are going to be real healthy. And I'm just going to mix that in because I, I haven't worked with quinoa flour before. So I don't know just how absorbent it is, but it seems to be okay. And I put a little extra wholemeal flour here just in case this, the mixture is too wet. No, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's still too wet. So we'll just mix a little bit more in. So it's one cup of mashed sweet potato, which I roasted earlier. And at 400, 200 Celsius for about 30 minutes, cut them in half and I scooped all the flesh out and I just left it sitting until I was ready to make this video. It still needs a bit more flour because you got to kind of make it pliable like a like a bread dough so who's come on here hi elizabeth how are you and daniela and julie great to see you girls and vicky so that's my quinoa organic quinoa flour that i'm using for this one uh, but as i say you can use any flour that you like i mean let's the beggars can't be choosers we have to just use the ingredients we have because we don't want to be running out to the shops every two minutes unless of course it's for wine uh, and um yeah so i'm just trying to use things ingredients here that i have because i'm only trying to go to the supermarket uh once a week that's still a wee bit wet so i'm going to put a little bit more wholemeal flour in here that was just short of a cup actually because i I had a look at it earlier. I measured it out and it was just short. It was about three quarters of a cup in there. It's 110 grams, which is equals equivalent of a cup. But uh, it was just a wee bit short and the, the short changed me, I think. Yeah, you want to make this into kind of a pliable kind of a dough. If you see what I'm forming here now, and I think it might just take a little bit more flour. I'm trying to just do little simple recipes for you. So you can have a little fun at, even if you don't cook, won't cook. Um, I think uh, it's nice to get into the kitchen. It's a happy place to be. Uh, that's where people like to congregate. Uh, some of my friends are on here cooking with their children. Dana Leek, she had her three little children in the kitchen cooking. Now, this is just about ready. Yeah, I can feel it. You, you don't want it to be too sticky. Okay, you don't want it sticky in your hand, like, but it's just about there. And it's nice to see the moms cooking with their kids in the kitchen. That's how they learn. Not that I learned cooking from my mother, because I didn't. <laughs> so just put it in, because, I, you know, you can't tell how big your sweet potato is. 
uh, okay so and if say you had a little bit more than a, a cup in here this is just about ready now you don't want to add any water or anything you just want to purely work with the potato and the flour and I've just about got this all formed and I think this will make probably about four yeah there we go and I'm just going to start working this with my hand a wee bit now wash my hands beforehand wash my hands every time I go outside I'm washing my hands I'll tell you I'm becoming a dab hand at my hula hooping uh, that's for sure now that's perfect I'm just going to bring that out on the board and put the rest of that there that's perfect so and what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of flour down here so you can see don't waste anything and I'm gonna make this into it's gonna make probably four yeah four all right so that's two sweet potatoes that I roasted and about a cup of flour but just add the flour until you get a nice sort of pliable dough like this and what we're gonna do then just turn them into balls <laughs> There we go. Just roll them into balls. All of them. So we're going to make four out of this. And then we're going to, I'll show you how quickly you cook them. It's very, very quick. Very simple. And these are terrific with Indian food, as I say. I do like to have a chapati when I'm making my Indian food. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on that. You can either press it out with your hand or, because you want to make it quite thin, just give it a wee roll, but roll it around and around so you get a nice round circle. I'm only going to cook one of these today. I don't think you need me to cook all four, but I'll cook them afterwards. And then if your rolling pin is sticking, just put a bit of flour on there. I still want to roll this out a wee bit more. Get these chilies out of the way. There we go. A nice little circle. Perfect. There we go. So, I got a bit of sweet potato on my fingers there. I'm just wipe that off. <laughs> Crumble it off. Who's on here? Maureen, hi! How are you? And Lucas? Nice to see you. Everybody's home alone, so I feel like you're all here in my kitchen with me, which is wonderful. I wish you could be here in my kitchen with me, drinking a glass of wine. That would be wonderful. Uh, or a vodka and grapefruit. Or a soda pop, whatever you fancy. So I'm going to put this on, my little induction, and I'm going to put it on at five. I'll just let that heat up for a minute. I'm going to bring it here in front of you so you can see what I'm doing. Now this is a non-stick pan that I'm using. This is a salter pan. It's great. But I do put, I just wipe it around with a little bit of coconut oil. Um, just to give some color to the chapati. Or the tortilla wrap, whatever you want to call it. Tortilla. Just give it a little shake. Oh, got a little hole in it there doesn't matter hang on get that formed again it's just it gets sticky that's why you need to put flour down there we go I had a nice perfect circle there now and it's all been ruined but that's all right okay so I got my chapati here just trying to some of the flour off like so and we're just gonna put it in there I'll just bring this over here so you can see it. All right. Just give my hands another little wipe. Let's see who's on. Ah, oh, Lucas, you're coming over, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't just now. Hey, Karen. Nice to see you. Oh, that's from my niece. My niece. She sent me that. M for Mary, but it's really for McDonald's. <laughs> so that was nice of her. My niece Susan over in um, Canada. She runs a big uh, McDonald's franchise. Hi, Connie. 
Well, I'll just give you girls a few minutes. Just let me just get this nice and it gets nice and little brown dots on the bottom of it. I'll just turn it up a wee bit. I don't like it to cook too quick. You know, I like it just to cook. So I know Lucas is home alone there. And I know Karen is probably with her dogs. And I know Maureen is with her three dogs. So I hope you're getting out there having a little walk now and again. Taking the dogs out. Hi, Michelle from California. Good to see you. Um, anyway, if you didn't catch my doggy video yesterday, let's just check this. See, oh, it's just coming beautiful. I don't want to rush it. Uh, if you didn't catch my doggy video, it's on uh, my Mary's Kitchen page. Uh, also, um, it's on my website now, www.maryjoancalder.com. And you can pop on my website and uh, also you'll be able to click on my YouTube videos there, etc. So you can look at all, I've got a lot of videos on there, various things. So if you're bored, you can scroll through them and see if there's something there that you'd like to cook or that you've got the ingredients uh, for to cook. So, yeah, so today, uh, Daisy, my web designer, she, uh, she got the doggy video on. This is perfect. I like this. She put the doggy video on there and uh, some pictures of my dogs on my website. You'll see it's uh, Pet Treats, I think is the heading for it. And uh, my friend Aileen gave me that idea, so she thought it would be nice because she knows how much I love my dogs. And I do make them a lot of treats and a lot of food, different kinds of food, like chicken and rice and various bits and pieces. They're quite spoiled. Hey, Les, how are you? Yay! My friend from Florida. Ah, oh, so nice to see you. And Diane, say hi to Gail for me. I'm going to phone you tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's a nice place I'd like to be holed up in, in Florida. That's for sure. I would really, oh, this is perfect now. Now, this is like a real Indian chapati. It's coming out absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'd love to be holed up in Florida in the penthouse suite less right now. That would be wonderful. Yeah, with a great view and a glass of wine. <laughs> that would be marvelous, watching all the boats go by. Oh, God, my friend Karen's on there saying her dogs are going to need rehab after this. I know, I know, it's really quite sad, really. Okay. That's it. That is, and I made these for Les and Gail when I was in Florida, didn't I? And we froze them. So basically, that is a sweet potato wrap. So easy to make. I added some chili in here. Uh, you could put a little bit of hummus on there, put some salad, and a little bit of strips of chicken. It makes an absolutely fantastic sandwich wrap. And also, because I like to make Indian food, it's a great uh, bread, flatbread, to use for Indian food uh, because it resembles almost identical to a chapati. A chapati is a similar, exactly the same thing, except it doesn't have the potato in it. It's just wholemeal flour worked with uh, water, and um, it's very easy to make a chapati too. But I like these because there's actually some really nice flavor in here. And so I hope you get an opportunity to make these. Um, if you're looking for some more recipes, as I said, go on to my website, www.maryjoancalder.com, and you'll see various, uh, we're gonna keep adding desserts, uh, soups, appetizers, main courses. So there's a couple of each on there just at the moment. There's a new pet section just on there, just been put on, uh, I think late last night or early this morning. So you can get a chance to catch up on my recipes. Hi, Karen. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's the best. And Victor, how are you? Are you still going out to Turkey? I haven't, uh, I catch up with you on your post once in a while, but uh, it would be nice to see you again. And Jerry Lynn. Well, listen, gang, thanks for joining me. I hope that brought some joy into your kitchen today and gives you an opportunity to make something simple. I'm going to sign off now, and I'm going to make the rest of these. So I've got them all ready for my curry for tomorrow. 
have a wonderful day. I know uh, my friend Les Byrne and Gail Byrne are having a wonderful day in Florida, probably 70, 75 degree temperatures, and Daisy and Jenny, if she comes on, and all my friends in Florida, Kathy Wilson, and uh, all you gals. Um, so have a wonderful day. Paula! <laughs> Yes, and my friend Paula, the hula hoop queen. By the way, I want to tell you, I've been spending a lot of time with that hula hoop, and I am improving vastly. So I am getting better, uh, <clears throat> working on it every single day. So I'll say cheerio. Thanks for coming on. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. Mind you, you won't be seeing too many smiles because most, most of the people have isolation masks on, but you can smile behind your isolation mask. Have a great day and thanks for coming on. Bye.